Ooh, ooh, I'm in a flat spin. Oh, crap. Hey, hey, guys. Welcome to episode 10 of Kerbal Space Program, Building a Space Station. This is our final episode of this series. I know, it's, uh, it's bittersweet. It's awesome that we have our space station completed, but it uh, sucks that it's got to end. But there's good news to this sad story, and I will explain that good news at the end of this video. So this is our space station. It's basically completed with the exception of these final two tanks and uh, solar panels up here. Now, I've made a few little changes um, since our last episode. These are two tanks and these are two tanks, but I went ahead and made it just one tank each, a bigger tank. I figured that's less parts, which means it's less stress to put on my computer. So, and I think it actually holds more fuel that way. I haven't really checked, but I think it does. Let's go ahead and pull up the shuttle that we're gonna be using to take our first piece up there, piece number 15. There she is. Now, one of the changes I made is I made this shuttle smaller than the one that we've been using. Just uh, one cargo bay section smaller. Let's go ahead and open it up so I can show you the actual payload here. So instead of two tanks connected, as you can see, we just have one. I think it might be slightly less fuel, but I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that. But we'll be bringing up two of them in this episode. Let's go ahead and pick out our crew. We've got a new pilot. Um, Pod oh, no, not Podus, where is he? Sam Van, he's our new pilot. So we're gonna have him in the shotgun seat so he can learn from the best, which would be Jebediah is going to be bringing up piece number 15. And I've decided I wanna go ahead and switch out a couple passengers, some that's been up there from the very beginning on the space station. So we're gonna bring them home and we'll switch them out with someone new. Rafri, okay. Rafri, she is a scientist I just rescued out of space, and I'll talk more about her here in a second. We'll bring her up on the space station, and we'll just go ahead and give Bill, our engineer, some experience. All right. I think we are ready to launch this beast. Hopefully we don't mess it up because, after all, Jeb's life is at stake. Uh, pay attention to how much money I have down here. If you've been looking at this at the beginning of every episode, you, you'll notice this fluctuates, and that's because I have to complete missions in between airings of this of this show and uh, in order to have money to launch these things. The space station is not cheap, and uh, that's something we'll talk about at the end of the episode as well. Let's go ahead and launch. All right, NASA countdown. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Throttle up. Sans on. She's away. Shaky, look at her. The rookie over here looks pretty scared. <laughs> she should be. Okay, 
calm as a whistle. Separation here. Here we go. Clean separation. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and restart our main engine. All right. And we'll light it to get us into our orbit so we can rendezvous with the Kerbal or Kerbin International Space Station. All right, there's a space station right here. It's a little over two kilometers away and closing. So how I make my money to afford these missions to add on to the space station is I complete contracts because this is career mode. Now, the last mission I did between the last episode and this one was I rescued Rafri, the scientist on board here, um, from orbit around Kerbin. She was stranded. So I rescued her, but at the same time, I did kind of a two birds, one stone thing. And I made some fixes to our space station that I messed up on in the previous episode. If you remember that tower that we added in the last episode, uh, you may, if you had a keen eye, you may have noticed that I put the tower on um, incorrectly. I angled it wrongly. I should have rotated it another 90 degrees so the tanks would run perpendicular to the tanks or the big tanks on the on the space station. So what I did, and I'll show you some pictures here, uh, what you're looking at, is I launched a drone ship, an empty, an empty uh, command module with an antenna attached so I, and, a, and a probe so I could control it. And I launched it into a low Earth orbit, and I rendezvoused with Rafri's stranded vessel, and I went ahead and put her aboard this module, and then I went ahead and took her to the space station so we could fix that tower that was improperly installed. So she was kind of along for the ride for that. And then afterwards, you know, I undocked her from the space station and I went ahead and brought her back to curb and it's nice, safe and sound. So that was just, that's just one mission that I ended up completing uh, between the last episode and this one. The thing is, um, it takes quite a few missions to afford this kind of stuff. And, and like I said, we'll break down exactly how much the space station cost me at the end of this episode. But other things I did, you know, I landed a couple um, probes on EVE, which was really hard to do. I've only done that maybe once before since I've got this game. What else did I do? I put a probe on Mars. I've only done that a few times. I put a uh, satellite in orbit around one of uh, Duna, which is Mars, one of Duna's um, moons, uh, Ike, and I'm waiting for another home and transfer window to uh, bring that satellite back to Kerbin. So I got a lot taken care of, but uh, there's still many things in this game I have not even yet attempted. I would say the majority of things possible in this game, planets to go to, moons to go to, lands, moons and uh, planets to land on, I have not even attempted yet. One of the reasons being is because I've never had enough fuel to get there. And that's part of the reason why, if not the main reason why, 
we're doing this episode, this series on building a space station. But I'll get into that more here when the uh, episode's finished. Let's turn our lights on there. And we'll let this thing come to us. Actually, we're going to do it, but it looks like it's coming to us. Here comes my beauty. Here comes my pr my precious, my precious. Here it comes. Jeb at the controls. Looks like we're going to be going onto the dark side of the planet here in a little bit. See how quickly we can get this done because we got to send up another shuttle. But we'll do that with uh, when we get back. We're going to send up Sam Van. See how he does after being mentored by the one and only Jeb. Jeb showing him how it's done now so Sam Van can do it on his own on the next flight. Although he'll still have supervision probably from POTUS or somebody who's really great at flying these things. Here it comes, here it comes. Our city in the sky. We're gonna dock it to this one right here. So we'll make our way upwards a little bit. We just cleared that, didn't we? <laughs> oh man, that would have been bad if I would have taken that out. Way to go, Jeb. You're gonna put some bad habits in Sam Van. All right, so we're about in position relative to the docking port here, but we wanna get a little bit further away from the space station when we unload our payload who knows what might happen okay let's go ahead and open up our bay doors and our smaller bay doors <laughs> our hatch doors okay let's make sure we're not falling back towards the station nope we're still climbing okay just slowly but that's better than going towards the station I think we are go to undock this thing let me just make sure I always want to make sure before we actually do it yes we are good to go just let it drift right out let her drift just let her drift Here we go. Okay, we're actually going to be docking with this side. Come on, where's my docking node? Nah, it's not showing me. That's all right. Some tight flying by Jeb. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't do this wrong. Nicely done. We can straighten it out a little bit more. Can't we, Jeb? Yes, we can. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. 
There's a nice shot of the moon in the background there. All right, let's bring it closer. Looking relatively straight. A little bit closer. My heart always races during this this point. It always does. I don't think anything is ever going to change that. <laughs> I could probably have like I could probably be like a computer whiz and have it automatically programmed to dock itself like a SpaceX thing or something, and it would still make me really nervous. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Got some rockage going on with the shuttle. Nothing we can really do about that, I guess. Looking pretty straight, though. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, we are docked. The reason I'm the reason I probably couldn't see the um, target node is I think I had nodes turned off accidentally there for a second. So all we have to do basically is bring this thing straight down and then to the left, bringing it down, bringing it down. Hopefully we can clear those tanks with our delta wing. That's the whole plan. If not, we're gonna have to attach to the opposite side because I know we have clearance there and we won't be able to bring up another shuttle. We'll just have to do it with a drone or something. Or maybe we'll do it with the with a command mod if we can't do it with the shuttle that way. You know, Sam Van can still get some experience flying something, right? I think we're gonna have clearance though. I think that's a good thing. Okay. this and we want to go forward oops not that way come on here we go get my buttons all mixed up this thing nice and parallel these solar panels that's what I'm looking at okay man that is some tight flying right there <laughs> holy cow <laughs> let's bring it in closer nice and easy will we have the clearance I think we might we're gonna try it gonna be close Baby, 
sorry for not talking very much right now, but uh, pressure is on. It is on like Donkey Kong Jr. Check out that wing clearance. I think we got it, though. I think we're going to get it. Okay, hold on a second. Don't dock yet. Don't dock yet. We got to rotate this thing just slightly. Okay. Let's see our solar panels. Are they parallel? They're looking pretty good, but I think we can go a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking better right there. Okay. Back it up a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. We'll try it. Still not very parallel. Let me turn off RCS really quick and okay, let's try that. Looking decent, looking decent, looking decent. And boo, that was a nice soft dock. Holy cow. Ooh, look at that wing clearance. We're talking less than a meter there. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Man. My nose is like running. <laughs> Forgot to breathe there for a while. I do not want to have to do that ever again. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to do it again for this side, but that's going to be easy compared to this side. At least we got the hard stuff out of the way. I mean, we kind of had to, right? Jeb's in control. We can't let uh, Sam Van on his first try of flying the shuttle do this. All right, this is for professionals. This is this is Jebediah. He's the only one that could have done this. It was like it was meant to be. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Let's time warp to the light side here. Almost there, there's the sun. All right. <sighs> Let's go ahead and switch out our space station occupants. Who needs to go from here to the, oh yeah, Ron Free or whatever her name is, where's she at? Uh, Rod Free, that's right. So Rod Free can transfer from here to, she's a scientist, where's a science mod at? Hold on a sec. That's a habitation mod, we don't want her there. Ex join experiments, that's where we want her. Transfer Rod Free to there. Booyah. And now we can take an additional passenger off of here. We're going to make it an engineer because we just don't need three engineers on the space station. We're good with two. Malman. And who's another option we have? There's our commander of the station, Rich C. Ned Fry, we have to keep on there. He's just, he's the man. Jedoli. Yeah, we'll take Jedoli off. All right, where are you at, Jedoli? There you are. Let's transfer you onto the shuttle. Hopefully, you make it back. 
Okay, let's take this crew home and uh, bring back the next crew, which would also be Sam, Sam, whatever his name is again. Let's go ahead and undock. Excuse my snoring German shepherds in the background. <laughs> should take us clear of the space station. Yeah, there she goes. Go ahead and close our little hatch. Close our cargo bay doors. Whoops, that was the same button. Come on. There we go. Nice. Let's deploy these solar panels. Now, the reason why I wanted this tower changed to face the way it is, and this reason I had it originally set up this way with the model, is because, as you can see, right now the sun is directly in line with these solar panels, so they're not actually exposed very well. They are collecting energy. Or, um, sunlight but just not converting that much now if we run some solar panels parallel like we're gonna do right now then no matter where the Sun is we will be able to soak it up see how these are rotating to expose themselves towards the Sun then boom there we go and we have one more of these tanks to bring up with two more set, or actually four more sets of solar panels on it, so there we go. We are almost complete. If we can just take this space shuttle home safely and bring up the next one and return it safely, we are done. But the what if is still there, it still lingers, it still haunts my nightmares. Okay, let's go ahead and get this in a retrograde. Take us home, Jeb. Later, space station. All right, here we go. We are orienting ourselves to enter the atmosphere with the bottom of the shuttle facing down, which is our heat shield. Come on, Jeb. You've done great so far. Keep it up, buddy. We're gonna attempt to land on the runway again. It worked out for us last time, and this time I even removed the uh, undercarriage light back here, so hopefully we can have a perfect touchdown. I love looking at all their faces down here. <laughs> some of them are happy, some are excited, some are afraid of their for their life. <laughs> See how Sam Van's doing. Yeah, even Sam Van, the rookie, doing all right. Shouldn't really call him a rookie. I've used him to land on Min Miss uh, Kerbin's second moon one, moon one since I've got him. Bill, though. <laughs> hey, I'm Bill. We should overshoot our run runway just a little bit, which is better than undershooting it because we can always apply our air brakes that I installed. And, uh,. Kind of snake this thing if we have to to uh, weed off some of our airspeed. Crossing over the ocean now, leaving this continent, and uh, the next continent we're over should be the continent. A little, little high out with our nose there. We want to keep it under 10 degrees. It's a good angle of attack, otherwise, we could end up losing control. And there's the space center.
Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to overshoot the runway here and we'll circle around and land it in the other direction. That's what we're going to do. No problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't lose. Don't lose control. Oof. Anybody pass out? <laughs> That's one way to break. Oh, <laughs> Bill almost passed out. See how easy it is to lose control of the of the shuttle? Just too much turning turnage there. We'll do it. Okay. So this is gonna have to be good guesswork. Can go ahead and start turning it right now. one way to slow down. <laughs> Jeb doesn't mess around. He's like, oh, it's time to turn? It's time to turn. Ooh, ooh, I'm in a flat spin. Oh, crap. Let's give it some thrust. That was scary. <laughs> I've never been in a flat spin before, even when testing this thing out, when I was making it. All right. 5,000 meters, we'll put our landing gear down. Shoot or drag shoot. Here we go. I'll always be nervous about this, man. We want to be coming in pretty fast. Pretty steep, so we can flare this thing and put it down nice and gently. That's the plan, at least. That's the plan. That's the plan. Oof. Get it under control, buddy. Now's not the time to lose control. Flare, flare, flare. Oh, I flared way too early. Shoot. Come on. Come on, Jeb. Come on, Jeb. Oh. I don't know what we lost. I think we lost the... Uh, What's it called? The... Uh, yeah, we did. This thing's very back-heavy now that I shortened the shuttle up. We lost... We just lost the undercarriage... Um, thruster block. That's all we lost. Alright, good. Great success, I guess. Hey, we walked away from it. <laughs> uh, I need to make this thing a little bit no more nose-heavy for the next launch, and that's what we'll do right now. Maybe we'll just put these small structural wings back on the, the, the nose here. That might help us a little bit with the weight distribution. Probably not much, but hey, it's something. All right. Other than that, maybe we'll just try to uh, use as much fuel out of this tank as possible. Okay, that should lighten up the load a little bit. We won't really have much control over that, but hopefully this time we can use a little bit more fuel. Maybe I'll lay off the um, thrusters a little bit and just use that fuel more. So let's go ahead and crew up. Good job, Jeb. Another successful mission. All right, this time we just need two pilots. That's all we need. We, our pilot is going to be um, Sam Van, and the one helping him out, who's going to be having a careful eye on what he's doing so he doesn't mess up, is going to be 
Theobo. All right. Let's go, you guys. The success of the mission depends on you. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, we are in a good uh, parking orbit, so let's open up our bay doors. Open up our hatch doors, and let's uh, prepare to uncouple our payload. You ready, Sam Van? I think you got this, buddy. It's a nice view of the station. We're going to park it right there. Good, good. Here we go. Last time we have to do this. Looking good, looking good. Let it float right out. All right. This is our target now. Let's get a little bit further away. I think we might have it. Yeah, buddy. Come on, click. 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 Okay, now we are safe to dock. We are go for docking. Here we go. Here we go. And hook up, baby. Lock up, baby. Come on, lock up, baby. Little adjustments, little adjustments. And come on. Boom. We have our last piece. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Tell me these solar panels are looking straight. Oh, they are. Okay, our job here is done. We have a completed space station. Let's go ahead and pull away, undock and pull away uh, from the station now. We can undock this space shuttle. There they go. Yeah, 
extend these panels. Extend this back out. And these back out. And that's it. All right. We do have to get Ned Fry out really quick just to take off these two docking ports and then we're done. That's the last thing he has to do. Start climbing, buddy. goes. Just gotta shove this out of the way here so it doesn't run into our station. There it goes. Good job, Ned Fry. You did awesome you are the star of this space station you might not be the the commander or the pilot but you are the star buddy it wouldn't have happened without you let's go ahead and bring him home There you have it guys, our completed space station finally. Let's head back to the shuttle, bring it home, and then we'll debrief. Alright Sam Van, let's end this on a high note. Bring us home buddy, safely. Adios space station.
Until the next time. There's the runway. Looking pretty lined up. Let's go ahead and put down the landing gears. Come on, Sam Van, you got this, buddy. You got this. Little adjustments. Let's go ahead and arm our drag chute. our air brakes to slow down just a little bit. Little adjustments, buddy. Little adjustments. Come on. Just relax. You got this. You got this. Alright, flare it. some power. Give it some power. Give it some power. There you go. And one bounce. Break, break, break. Plenty of runway left. <laughs> and back shoot. <laughs> Alright. And we just took off the uh, thruster block. No worries. Good job there, Sam Van. Not bad for your first time. <laughs> or my, like, seventh or eighth time. Hey, there's Duna. So there you have it, you guys. We are finally done. After six weeks of building this thing, we are finished with the Kerbin International Space Station, or KISS. It orbits Kerbin at about 500,000 meters. And guess what? It took us over four million dollars to build this thing and that doesn't include the rockets that blew up in the beginning in the first few episodes it can house 31 kerbals but we have 10 on board as we speak it can generate science it can act as a relay station that can span the whole you know solar system with these big antennas on it and it has three docking ports that we can open up to receive future vessels or you know satellites what have you that need refueling or need electrical power there we go they are color coded docking ports which actually br brings me to my next uh, point here the whole reason 
that I built this thing, we built this thing, is because I need to use it for a refu as a refueling station to get to other planets. I have yet to walk on another planet. I walked on Minmus, I walked on the moon, but I've never walked on another planet. I tried Duna once, but once I got into orbit around Duna, I didn't have enough fuel to land it on Duna, or at least land it and then take back off and reach Kerbin again. I don't even think I had enough fuel to land it. So that's why I came up with the idea of, hey, why don't I build a space station so I could do that? So just because we are finished building it doesn't mean we are finished using it. And maybe in the next series, we'll go to Duna and we'll stop by this Kerbin International Space Station uh, to fuel up. Before we go, let's go ahead and do one last tour of the space station. Here's a science pod. Here's another science pod. And another, and another. And here's the view from the pilot, Richsey. He is the commander of the space station. He has the best view in the house. Although it's not my favorite position. Um, this is just a, I think this is the airlock. I think this is our, our boy Ned Fry in the airlock here still. I'll have to move him. This is the um, science mo module. We have three of them in there right now. Scientists hard at work, but this is my favorite. This is my favorite seat in the house. You got a nice view of our hard work looking up at the top of the space station. If I would have thought about it, we could have watched um, and that last, that last docking, that last 16th piece, we could have watched us dock it to the space station, but I didn't think about it. So there you have it, you guys. We are finished, and I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting as we went on this endeavor. Until the next one, God bless you guys. Stay righteous.